After Draco declined to do further business with DJ Mustard, tension would begin to form between their camps. And soon, Mustard's artist RJ, who had appeared on the Mr. Get Doe remix with Draco, would begin taking competitive jabs at Draco. In fact, Draco would even explain to DJ Vlad that when he stopped working with DJ Mustard, RJ would pick his side. Was it when you kind of stopped messing with Mustard? That Pretty much, yeah. When I went and out. RJ took Mustard's side? Yeah, I guess that's what it was like, like. From here, RJ would grow even closer to DJ Mustard and continue driving his career forward, dropping tracks like Get Rich in April 2015. And at a certain point, RJ rebrands and begins to call himself RJ Mr. LA. Now, this seems like a previous reference to Draco calling himself Mr. Get Doe in the song him and RJ appeared on. And it really seemed like RJ was trying to kind of claim the more superior title of Mr. LA, essentially saying that he runs the rap scene in the city. Apparently, Draco was upset about RJ's claim to the title of Mr. LA, suggesting that because he was the one who came up with Mr. Get Doe, he really was Mr. Everything. But from here, soon RJ would be dropping lyrics, attempting to get under Draco's skin even further. RJ's May 2016 track, Only One, is a competitive diss track seemingly aimed at Draco, where RJ claims that he is the only one popping in the hood now. And RJ would back this sentiment up in an August 2016 tweet, where he claimed that he only gets mentioned alongside the greats when it comes to LA street rappers. Draco would clap back at this sentiment in a tweet of his own saying, you and me both, suggesting that both him and RJ are greats in the city of LA. But RJ would disagree with this, saying nah, Draco isn't as good as him. This led Draco to clap back, saying RJ can't possibly believe that. Ultimately saying maybe RJ had LA's rap scene once, but Draco has it now. Following that tweet up with the devastating closer, responding to RJ saying that he runs the streets of LA, saying, that's not what LA's saying, Mr. LA. As the months went by, the beef between Draco and RJ would intensify. On October the 19th, 2016, Draco would release his new song, Evil Knievel, dissing RJ, saying that he's already been Mr. LA and that he is Mr. Everything. And later that month, on October the 27th, 2016, somebody would tweet asking why are RJ and Draco beefing, to which RJ would reply, jealousy. Draco would then reply to that tweet, saying that he's got a better car than RJ, so why would he be jealous? Pointing out that he drives a brand new 2016 Mercedes GLE Coupe SUV, while RJ only drives a 2012 Mercedes S650. RJ would clap back to this car measuring contest, suggesting that Draco's GLE Coupe is much more like a BMW X6, essentially suggesting that Draco's choice of Mercedes is a feminine one. Now, for now, this beef had only played out in songs and on Twitter, and these Twitter exchanges were going around the same time that RJ was actually on tour with YG on the F Donald Trump tour. But apparently whilst RJ was on tour with YG, Draco was waiting for him back in LA, even posting up on social media, telling RJ that he is literally waiting for him to get back from tour. If you see me in LA, you're gonna see me in LA, Mr. LA, and I'ma have some bands on me now. On November the 17th, 2016, RJ would drop the song Warning, a Draco the Ruler diss, remixing his song Uchi's. Now, the track came with an intro skit sampling Friday After Next, which RJ essentially used to infer that he was better than Draco in every way, with RJ going on to rap lyrics, subliminally dissing his ops saying that they're not threatening, and suggesting that his fame made people in the city hate him. He would rap lines about his ops making up their own cliques and acting like they're gangbangers, with this perhaps being a reference to how Draco formed the Stink Team, rather than joining the neighborhood Crip gangs in the area that he grew up in. It's worth pointing out at this stage that allegedly RJ claims affiliation to the Athens Park Bloods. So despite Draco not specifically claiming a gang, there's clearly some kind of underlying affiliations contributing to this beef. Following the release of Warning, RJ would drop a flurry of tracks and music videos too. With his close connection to fellow Blood rapper YG on display in music videos like Blood Da, dropping in November 2016. Now, the very same day that that track dropped on the 21st, Draco would go on to drop his new song, Mr. Everything. Another obvious reference to RJ calling himself Mr. LA after Draco had been calling himself Mr. Get Doe, Draco's new song Mr. Everything was an outright effort to let everybody know that he was bigger than Mr. LA. He also wears a blue bandana in the video, which despite Draco's frequent statements that he doesn't belong to any Crip sets, must have been a small indication, likely a response to RJ's blood affiliation. In the song, Draco says he's sliding through the hoods of the people that talk about him. He says that he'll get RJ whacked by his own people for trying to be him. He says RJ's broke and has fake watch Watches, and the hook of the song has Draco saying he's Mr. Everything and that his ops lie in their raps and steal his image and style. Draco also seemingly responds to the accusation that he made his gang up, saying the stink team are bigger and richer than RJ's blood set. And Draco also says in the second verse of the song that he is trying to knock one of his peoples and saying that he has 20,000 on him, leading many people to believe that he actually had a hit out on RJ. If Draco's lyrics were to be taken seriously, he was putting money on RJ's head and actively plotting to kill him. 
again. However, Draco and his team would insist that this was all just a music rivalry and that they had no intentions to harm RJ. Unfortunately, this very feud would come back to haunt Draco. With an unrelated murder taking place and Draco and his team ending up as the prime suspects, sadly this catalogue of gangbanging and gun-toting anthems would have the whole stink team, especially Draco, looking guilty as sin. 